Hello, Mike. Good afternoon, or a good evening, I guess. Uh, for us, it's evening. For us, it's already 6.23 um, uh, German time. So, but, but thank you. It's great to have you, Mike. So Mike is with uh, Prieto, or Prito, I'm not quite sure how to say it, battery. And he'll be telling us about 3D batteries, which is a really, really uh, fascinating topic. And we look forward to your presentation. So when you're ready, please start. Perfect. Thank you very much. Uh, as mentioned, I'm the uh, CEO of Prieto Battery, um, and I'm going to discuss 3T, 3D battery advancements. Um, 3D batteries have been known in theory for decades, um, but the challenge has always been whether or not they can be actually made, and if they could be made, whether or not they can actually be made at low cost, high volume, and high quality. And I'm here to say today that over the last 12 to 18 months, uh, 3D batteries are real. We have them tested, we have them validated by a third party, and we're now starting to go to commercial. So uh, let me give you some more of the details. So uh, if you go to the next slide. Uh, so, so you see the cursors in your screen on, on, on the bottom got of it. the page? I got it. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> uh, so why do we need 3D batteries? Because um, frankly, today, uh, 2D batteries are not good enough. Um, it doesn't matter which market you look at. Uh, essentially, all 3D ba or all batteries have certain challenges within the various marketplaces. So if we look at electric vehicles in particular, we know today that there is still range anxiety amongst consumers. Uh, that's because the batteries either don't have the long enough range or they're too slow charging. So that's ca causing consternation amongst customers. We also know that these, these batteries don't operate well at low temperature or at high temperature. There's also perceived safety risks um, from thermal runaways and fires, um, either in accidents or upon charging. They're still too heavy and they're still too expensive. So as a result, we're not seeing the uptick of electric vehicles in the mid-range mass market as what everybody expected. And to do that, and to get the full electrification of the transportation sector, we are going to have to have a better battery that addresses these key issues. Now, when you look at a 2D battery, or what we would call a 2D battery, those are the traditional batteries. And the way they're manufactured or where they put together is basically in layers. So if you look at the picture on the right-hand side, that's a typical 2D battery, lithium-ion battery. You start with the current collector, then you have an anode, you have a separator, you have a cathode, and then you have a current collector for the cathode side. The lithium-ion has to go from one side of the battery to the other, from the anode to the cathode. And typically what you do is if you want long range, you make the anode and cathode layers very thick. And by doing so, the lithium ion has an arduous path to go from one side of the battery to the other, which means it's slow charging. If you go and make a fast charging battery, you make the anode and cathode layers very, very thin. So the lithium ion has a very short pathway to go back and forth, so it's very fast charging, but you've lost your energy density. And this is a conundrum that battery engineers have been dealing with for decades. You know, do we build a high energy density battery or do you build a fast charging, but you can't get both in the same battery. A 3D battery allows you to do both in one battery. And how do you do that? Well, one way to do that is start with a very porous, high surface area substrate. And that's a picture on the right hand side again. That's a, like in our case, we use a copper foam. And that copper foam has a lot of strands or tendrils um, in there. And if you look at the left, the magnification of that, what we do is we coat our anode and our separator and our cathode on each individual tendril of that copper foam. So those are very, very, very thin layers. Uh, the anode and cathode are very close in, in proximity. And as a result, the lithium ion pathways back and forth between anode and cathode are very, very short. That provides you with very high power, very fast charging. But when you look at the overall structure, you have so many of those copper tendrils and you're covering the surface area of all that copper tendril, you end up with a lot of anode and cathode in the given footprint. So what that means is that you have a battery that has both high energy density and high power density in the same battery. And what does that mean? Well, what that means is that you have a hyper fast charging battery, uh, three minute full charge and from 10 to 80%. 
you have a battery that operates at extreme temperatures from minus 30 all the way up to 100 degrees C. You have